burgers are very personal to a lot of different people and you can talk to 10 people and get 10 different answers of what a burger is supposed to look like. Round, square, flat, thick, whatever. I think this is a very tasty burger. My name is Tony Moss, chef owner of Craigie on Main, here to talk to you about our infamous and somewhat overhyped hamburger. So we use all grass-fed meat to divide it into three tiers. Very, very, very beefy, a little chewy like short rib, and then sirloin type stuff and shoulder type stuff. So we add in our own bone marrow fat and suet, which adds really good beefy flavor. And we put some dehydrated red miso powder on there. It's a tremendous flavor, and even if you don't know it's there, it's the umami factor. It's heightening other flavors that are going on in the burger. For the grind itself, we want a nice, loose, coarse grind. The difference between a hamburger and sausages is that a hamburger shouldn't be emulsified. It shouldn't be really smooth. To me, it should be almost fluffy. It should be not quite falling apart, like just being held together, whereas what makes a great sausage is the texture of the fact that it should be very compact and smooth. Making the patty itself, we're trying to like work it as little as possible. We just want to bring it together. The next step is to put in the CVAP oven. CVAPs are low temperature ovens with a lot of moisture. So we've got very little moisture loss. So the end result is gonna be a much juicier burger. When it comes out of the CVAP, we season it again with some more pepper, and it's actually a pepper mix that we make. A little coarseness adds a little spice. When it's to temperature, we put it on our plancha, and we sear it, and that gets that nice caramel caramelized bits of flavor. We finish it with some Shelburne Farm cheddar, two years age. We melt that in our salamander. We toast the bun in the same fat as what the burger was cooking in, because you can't have too much burger flavor. Sturdy enough to hold all the juice, but not so sturdy that it was toothsome or chewy or anything like that. For me, one of the things that can make or break a hamburger is a bun that's the right size. And we take the drippings, or the juice, from the burger. We actually call that burger vinaigrette, and we dress the salad with that. Again, why introduce anything else but supreme burger flavor? Traditionally, we've been serving it with house-cut steak fries, which are baked then fried and then seasoned with togarashi and then a little side salad, a celery root slaw, of course our homemade mace ketchup, homemade red wine vinegar pickles. And that is the Craig Yamain burger. Unfortunately, we only get a certain amount of this meat that we're very proud of, so it is limited. It's served in the bar. When we run out every single night, that is it, and we wait for the next day.